first edition, Second Thoughts. For many authors, the very thought of going back to old books, it just fills them with absolute horror. <laughs> My initial thought was, I'm not going to do this. First edition, Second Thoughts is an auction of books that are annotated by their writers. There will be 60 writers. The eminent writers of their generation. 15 artists, all of them well-known and well-loved. I was often asked by writers, what does annotate mean? And the answer is, it means whatever you want it to mean. What we have asked them to do is to write in their own books. I was dumbfounded. This seems to be a ridiculous thing uh, to try to, 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 to accomplish. To call them annotations is not to do them justice. I mean, in many, in many cases, we've got whole essays, whole riffs, letters to the readers, narrative and story. They're adding elements into the book. To me, that's totally magical. It creates a new artifact. In a sense, it becomes a, a new book. I think what these books make you feel in most cases is that you are in intimate and private conversation with the author. They're so funny to read and they're so revealing and they're so intimate that you feel like all of a sudden Don DeLillo or Paul Auster or Toni Morrison is your friend and they're talking with you. And what more could you want than that? I've never seen it. I mean, I've, I've never seen an artist go back into a book and, and rework or rethink or annotate a book like this. In the instance of Alex Soth, he's actually gone back into the book and he's added a, a whole sequence of unique photographs, many of which we've never seen. Extraordinary stuff that is so valuable in terms of literary history. I had not opened The Power Broker for 40 years since it came out. When I started, I was 29. I worked seven years on this book. I couldn't bear to reread it. For the first time in my life, I wrote what I felt was a kind of intimate letter to a stranger. I can say that it was probably the most bizarre act of writing I've ever been involved in. I think I did find a typo. <laughs> I'm not going to say where it is. I corrected it, though. You've got the authors, in a sense, writing their own stories inside the books. It was a very moving experience. Why do writers say yes? I believe in pen ardently, and it's a very important to me. So anytime I have a chance to help pen, I want to. It's really the only human rights organization defending writers in the world. Especially in our times now, uh, censorship has reared an enormously ugly head. I would do anything for Penn, and this is such a noble cause. Well, we're a small organization with a big mission. This auction is hopefully going to enable us to help more writers in more regions of the world. Christie's is very excited to be hosting this auction for the benefit of Penn America. This will be taking place here in our rooms, and the books will also be on public view for the five days leading up to the auction. Once they're sold, they're going to go floating off everywhere. People really should take the time to go down and look at the books before they're sold at the auction, because they are marvelous things.